Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to Surviving Ars Magica. I'm your host, Magus96. Well, today we're going to start building the walls of our arena. Uh, we've got the floor done. We've got the stairs leading down to it most of the way done. So we're just going to go build a wall now. Let's get this stuff put in our or possession correctly. I don't need that. I don't need that. And let me throw that in there. All right, let's get down there and let's get to business. Let's get down to business. We're just using Magic Builder. And I remember we went in and we put dirt in to the corners. That's to prevent us from using more of this stuff than we need. Maybe it'll help me if I just go ahead and get off that. There we go. This is going to take a while because we are building the entire wall. We should go across the top first. Now that we know we're in the right angle here. Oops! That was not meant to be. That was accidental right there, let me tell you. See, this is where I wish we had the radius modifier because the radius modifier would make it to where we're building a much larger space. Like right now, we're building a three by three space, whereas let's see, radius would be four, uh, it's seven by seven space, I think. Whoops. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're still building a wall here. It's okay. We can go back and touch up those misses here in a little bit. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, this is the arena floor that I'm standing on, and this is the walls around the arena. The, it's tall for a very good reason. There is a definite reason why it's so tall. It's because this light will be at the top. We're going to move all these lights to the top of the arena, and that way, you know, the flooring will still have spawn abilities. Imagine if we were doing this block by block. This would take forever. And look, we're almost... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We are out of blocks. Gotta go back upstairs. Come on. Down we go. Thank you. There we go. I didn't leave an empty space for that. We'll have to pick that up here in a second. As I'm moving, I'm literally just pressing the button 
once every second. And that generally provides enough time between shots. Generally. Sometimes I miss like these, but it's okay. But as I was saying, the purpose, the idea here, is to make it so that we can... Ooh, hold up. There we go. Thank you. But we got two walls done. Two more to go. And we've only been through like five minutes. We're going to have more than enough time. Like we'll not, we might even be able to start working on the ceiling here. Um, as far as the ceiling goes, I was kind of thinking of just doing plain stone. That's my thought. Now, you guys can you know feel free to make suggestions or whatever. Um, although by the time I see the suggestions, I'll probably have built something. So I don't know. But the next floor up, I'm not going to be building until after, until next week. So you guys are feel free to make suggestions on how to build the next floor up. Like if, like, cause I mean, I haven't quite decided what all to do with it. I do know that I'm going to make a large storage area on the next floor up. Um, also want some of that to be the dungeons. Like we're going to have a little jail or something there. If you guys have any ideas of what else to put on that floor or how to design it, by all means, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking, definitely willing to hear from you guys and what you guys think. Probably should fill that in, but I'm not. Well, you know what? Let's just. Here's what we're gonna do. Now prevent enemy spawns. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's okay. Uh, is that Minecraft? Weird noises from Minecraft every half hour. Pretty much I'm gonna have to build it this way over by the stairs too. Single blocks and stuff, because we can't really mass place blocks over a hole, so. That. I think I'm thinking we might have to make some more blocks too. Definitely, yeah. And there's another wall. My God, we're getting good at these walls. All right, we gotta come over here and do this one. Um, let's do this. Well, let's let's do half the wall at a time. Uh, that's what we're gonna do down here. I'm just gonna do half the wall at a time. See, watch. I'll do this. Plop this right down here. And it only fills by that edge there, see? Which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and 
pop this one in. That way we can build these walls in as we need to. Now, of course, that dirt band there will have to be replaced with brick because it'll be visible from the other side, but that's okay. Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Bingo! And there's the doorway. <sighs> so now we can just fill in the rest of this and we'll be good. Let's see. Click. Click the button, mister. Look at that. And that looks nice. Hey, you guys aren't supposed to be down here either. We're gonna have to kill those guys. We could probably go ahead and fill in the, f the, f the thing for the next floor above, actually. The wall. And we'll wait until we get to that point. We're, we're going to work on this portion first. All right, so next what I want to do is I want to put some stone up there. Um, and then we're going to come back in and remove all the lighting and then replace the lighting. Now, my thoughts on the lighting is I'm just going to cover the entire ceiling in lights. Um, that was my thought. I, mean, I, I haven't come up with anything better for that. It's either that or, I don't know, we'll just kind of put the lights sporadic throughout the room. But I was definitely going with, you know, putting the lights everywhere. All right. Pop that in there. Do, 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 do. It's where it gets fun. Now we want to put the floor and the ceiling in, but we don't want to mess with the floor above us. So we can't use, you know, the whole we, we can't I mean I could use the spell replacing it, but at the same token I also can't use the, the area of effect portion of it because it's not gonna help us here. I mean, there's nothing for it to, to to adhere to. I mean, that's kind of how the area of effect spell works. It, for building and, and stuff, it has to be able to adhere to a block in order to place a block. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead, let's go up on top of this. All right, I'm gonna come off of you. Come on. I'm gonna shift click on that. That sets our block. That's it down. Thank you. 
Seriously? Are you not gonna... Damn, thing slows me down. I hate it. Alright. Select it. Thank you. Chicken, you want to be out of my way. I'm telling you, you want to be out of my way. There we go. Technically, I could fly over here, closer to the center. Oops. Yeah, we want to be careful of that. We're going to dig ourselves into the wall. Still have some blocks to go here. Now this is of course putting out regular blocks. I probably should have went ahead and crafted that other spell I was mentioning earlier. Or, um, or at least one that does place followed by smelt. That would be a nice, nice touch for this one right here. We really should. We don't need area of effect on it. Just place and touch. Or sorry, place and smelt, not place and touch. You can see how much damage I've done to it so far. Not a whole lot. Oh, but my power over Earth is going up like skyrocketing. Look, we're at 58%. So we're definitely going to have to come up with something to bring our, our percentages down a little bit. I bet you it's this thing right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the entire time I'm floating on that, my my Enderman power is going up. Whew. Oh my god. So I wonder what that what, what the effects are of that. I don't know that for sure. I know that there are special bonuses for having high percentages and things, but who? Alright, come on, get in place. No, it's not from it's not from from flying. It's from the spell. So this spell, this particular play spell, is increasing my Earth and my Enderman powers at the same time.
stop with the bouncing. There, aim, dude, aim. I can't aim. Oh, we are out of blocks. And wow, look how many spots I missed. I just got a few pieces there, didn't I? Alright, it's okay. I'm gonna try to do smarter, not harder. This is about all the time we have for today. I'm going to finish up building this ceiling before the next episode, uh, before next week. So next week we'll come back in and I'll have this floor done. I should also have removed, I'll also remove all the lights out of the ground, out of the bottom there. And I'm going to wait to put the lights back on top until next episode. Because what I think we're going to do is we're going to do a, we're going to go create a quick spell for that. I mean, I, I kind of don't like normally building a, set, a single spell just for one use, but we're going to do that in this case. We're going to make a new spell. Just out of that. We're going to make a new spell whose intent is specifically for creating, for area of effect lighting. Uh, we're going to place lighting all along the ceiling of this as quick as we can without having to worry about, you know, whether it's, you know, just, just that. Anyways. Thanks for watching. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care, and we'll see you next time on Surviving Arts Magic.